Alrighty guys, welcome back. Today I want to discuss with you your final assignment, which is a TV lookbook. So, first of all, what is a lookbook? It is a collection of photographs selected as visual references to express the director and or writer's vision for a film or TV show. Now, in this instance, I want you to pretend that you're both. Um, so a lookbook is like a document that you would create if you were trying to pitch your television show idea to a network. So imagine you want to graduate from high school and make the big bucks by selling your idea to Netflix. So you want to come up with the most visually striking presentation that's going to really wow those network producers. So how do you do that? Let's look at some examples first. So <clears throat> I found a really good one. It is from Netflix's Russian Doll. And if you've not seen this, um, it has Natasha Lyonne. And she is the one that, um, she, she's in Orange is the New Black also. She's just fantastic. But it, it is rated TV MA. But it is, if you were really into sort of like existential, dark, um, but also comedies, uh, it's, a, it's a really good one. It's heavy, but it's really good. Um, so let's look at a lookbook from that. So it's gonna you're it's gonna be images you know from other things that you want in your own you want in your own show right so like neons are used a lot um, and this is color this is on color right now okay you can kind of see kind of this like really there's a lot of water imagery oh some red. Vintage stuff. Okay, the world is another word for setting, and that is something that you're going to need to include. Kind of grimy, also kind of um, industrial. Okay, definitely psychedelic looking for sure. Okay, these are all things that are used in the world. Again, this is not pictures from Russian Doll. It was what Russian Doll used as their lookbook. They used these pictures to inspire them as to how they wanted their show. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through these really quick so you can see. Again, a lot of neons. Okay, cinematography. You don't have to include this. Um, a lot of shadow work. A lot of smoke. The smoke is definitely a um, symbolic in, in that show. Okay, so there's all kinds of different ones. Reflections are used a lot, like the opening scene of the uh, TV show is her looking in the mirror, Natasha. Repetition. <laughs> the show is about um, her waking up, or her dying and like reliving the same night over and over and over and over and over again. So repetition is really important. Now notice the um, image credits and sources. You're definitely going to have to do that too. And there's Russian doll. Tone. So let me tell you about um, what you're going to have to do in yours. So your lookbook is going to be a slideshow presentation, and it should include your name, okay, title of the show, so you make it up, like it's, it's your show, whatever you want it to be, a brief description, so like a log line, so like basically like about the premise of your show, and the definition, so this is specific to DV, so do you want it to be multi or single cam? So multi meaning it's in a studio with a laugh track, single cam means you different have different locations. Is it going to be a half hour or an hour? Will it be serialized where we have to, um, you know, tune in every week in order to understand what's going on? Or will it be a sitcom where we can just jump in and, and, and watch it, kind of like feel good type show? Or is it going to be kind of a mix of both? And then the genre, you know, is it going to be uh, comedy? Is it going to be drama? Is it going to be a crime show? You tell me. Tone. So you're going to include two to three pictures on tone. So I want to show you some examples of some people last semester that did a really good job with tone. Um, this is Cheyenne Parker's and she came up with a TV show called Drowned. And you can see like from the get-go she's created this backdrop, this background on her slide that it, it's very reminiscent of water. Her premise is when a young girl in an abusive relationship is an in an accident, she seeks revenge on her man manipulative fiancé and his new lover. And her definition is single cam, 
serialized hour format and it's a drama. So really simple. That's all you got to do. So again, she's got her title of her show, her name, her definition, um, and her, her log line or her, her premise. Now you can do that all on one slide if you want, or you can separate it like she did up to you. So, um, and she put some further, further description as well. You don't have to. Okay. Here's her tone. So now she included a lot of words here, but you don't have to do that. All you have to include are pictures. So all you have to have are two to three pictures. So this is the tone of her show. So again, this is the kind of mood that her writer, her as a writer wants to evoke in her audience. So the tone. Okay. The next one is world. Okay. So again, you need two to three pictures in the world. All that it means is the setting big and small. So it could be this, the, their apartment or their house of your characters, or it could be their city. It could be the country that they live in. It just depends on their show. Okay. So for her, the world somewhere high class, maybe royal, lots of expensive and elegant buildings. So again, like a really brief description, but your pictures kind of speak for themselves. Okay. There's also, she like, put some really interesting things here about a dock and some imagery. Let's look at a different example. Um, this person, Audrey Hamby, she's an amazing uh, writer too. So she had a premise for a show called In the Shadows. So again, like she used a lot of colors and a lot of design to evoke the, the tone and the mood that she wanted. So again, her name, her title, and then here is her description. So her logline is, when Elise Wakefield is forced into an arranged marriage, she finds a way out through an underground gang ruled, ruined to be a ghost. I think she meant rumored to be a ghost. The young girl finds herself entangled deeper than she could ever imagine. And it's a gothic period drama. Now, this is a very specific genre. Um, you don't have to be that specific, but she really likes sort of like the period pieces, like gothic, uh, you know, Victorian, that kind of thing. So that's fine. Um, hour long premise single cam so um this is like in a studio and then she had like this really cool quote here too to add a little bit of um depth to her to her story so her tone so the general character or attitude of a place piece of writing or situation so she defined tone for us and then that's her tone right here so again you're looking for these pictures that you that however you want your your audience to feel through those through those images there's some more about tone Okay, her world. So let's talk about setting. So again, Victorian era, England. Um, yours might be in the modern world. Okay, it's up to you. Okay, so she put some, some pictures of Victorian England. Again, like these, she like really went above and beyond. You don't have to do that, but she already thought of some very specific places that she wanted. Ooh, very interesting and setting incident there. The last thing um, is color, okay? So you need to include one, two, three buckets. So tone is your first one, world is your second, and color is your third one. Your fourth one is going to be a free choice element, and it could be anything like costume, camera angles, desirable lighting, character, etc. So I'll show you some examples of that too. So we're going to be going over color and free choice. So I'm going to go back to Audrey's. Okay, so the color is like what kind of colors you want to have as your color palette in your show. And she did just a color palette here, which I thought was pretty cool. And you can see that her own background, um, it, it, it used those colors as well. Colors that planned. Okay, and again, above and beyond, you need two to three pictures. That's it. All right, for her, her free choice element, she used characters. She already had some characters envisioned. So she, her, um, her main character is Elise Wakefield. So she put some really cool pictures there. Uh, Francis Wright was another one. I think he's the ghost. Looks kind of ghost, ghostly. Thaddeus Reed. So again, like she went above and beyond. You don't need this many. Okay. Okay. She also added a camera work choice. Again, you don't have to add two. She added two. Um, she was really interested in, like, the camera angles and all of that. So warm lighting, camera lenses, and then here are her credits. Okay, and she even put her credits in for her font and her colors used, all right? Um, let's look at Cheyenne's. 
Okay, so something really neat that she did um, was that she put in, as her choice element, music. So you can absolutely use music as your free choice element, and it's really fun. If you do that, feel free to um, link YouTube clips of the music that you choose. Um, she also put character descriptions. All right, and then there are her citations. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of better idea of what to do for your lookbook. Um, and that is all for, for now. I will see you guys in the next one.